An index or a power of natural number represents a number and the number of times it multiplies itself. For instance, 3 raised to the power 3 means 3 times 3 times 3. Powers of natural numbers have two parts, the base and the exponent as illustrated below. So we have a raised to the power m. m is the exponent and a here is the base. When a number is expressed as a power or a product of powers of natural numbers, it is being represented in an index notation. An instance of this is expressing composite numbers as products of prime factors. Example, 72 can be written in an index notation as 2 to the power 3 times 3 to the power 2. Again, 2 to the power 3 is an index notation of the number 8. Let us consider some other index notations you should be familiar with. Let's look at the category, which is powers with positive integer exponents. For instance, a to the power 3, as we all know, is the same as a times a times a. a to the power 1 is simply the number a, or it's just a. a to the power 4 simply means a times a times a times a. Let's look at another category, and that is powers with negative integer exponents. When we have a to the power negative 1, what it simply means the reciprocal of a to the power 1. And that is going to be 1 over a to the power 1, which is going to be equal to 1 over a simply. Similarly, a to the power negative 3 also means that 1 over a to the power 3 which can also be written as 1 over a times a times a a to the power negative 2 also represents 1 over a to the power 2 which is going to give you the answer 1 over a times a and similarly a raised to the power negative 5 simply gives you 1 over a to the power 5 which is also going to be equal to 1 over a times a times a times a that's five times so you can always view the negative uh, uh, sign to mean the reciprocal and by so doing we end up putting one as the numerator and of course the positive power as the denominator powers with positive fraction exponents number one a to the power half simply means the square root of a all to the power half you do notice that the denominator of the power which is 2 represents the square root whereas the numerator which is 1 represents the power this can be further simplified as just the square root of a and again a to the power 1 third simply means the cubic root of a all to the power 1 which again can be simplified as the cubic root of a similarly the fourth or a to the power 1 over 4 simply represents simply represents the fourth root of a and that is simply the fourth root of a all to the power 1 and again a to the power 3 over 2 simply represents 1, the square root of a, and 2 all to the power 3. The denominator 2 represents the square root, and the numerator 3 represents the power it is raised to. And again, a to the power 2 over 3 represents the cubic root of a all to the power 2. We shall prove this in our subsequent lessons
Again, let's consider powers with negative fraction exponents. A to the power negative half is the same as a to the power half all raised to the power negative 1, which means that the square root of a to the power negative 1, this is also the same as the reciprocal of the square root of a. And that is going to be 1 over square root of a. As we, as we discussed earlier, the negative 1 out there simply means the reciprocal of whatever that is what the base. And again, a to the power negative 1 over 3 simply means that a to the power 1 third all raised to the power negative 1, which can also be written as the cubic root of a for the fraction 1 over 3 all raised to the power negative 1. This also means 1 over the cubic root of a. A to the power negative one fourth can also be written as a to the power one fourth all raised to the power negative one. This is the same as saying that the fourth root of a all raised to the power negative one, which is also the same as the reciprocal of the fourth root of a, and that is going to be equal to one over the fourth root of a. Once again, you realize that the negative one out there as the exponent simply means we take the reciprocal of whatever is the base and that is the fourth root of a a to the power negative 3 over 2 simply means that a to the power 3 over 2 always the power negative 2 that's another alternative way you can write it now considering the fraction part what it simply means is that the square root of a all to the power 3 always to the power negative 1 which is also going to be simply written as what 1 over the reciprocal of the square root of a all to the power 3. Values of indices. The value of a power is the numerical worth of that power. For instance, the value of 2 to the power 3 is 8 because you multiply 2 by itself 3 times. And that is 2 times 2 times 2. Instructive example 1. Find the values of the following. A, 4 squared. B, 5 to the power 3. C, 7 to the power 5. D, 2 to the power negative 2. E, 8 to the power negative 3. F, 27 to the power 1 over 3. Solution. A, 4 squared simply means 4 times 4. And that is simply the answer 16. And again, 5 to the power 3 simply means 5 times 5 times 5. And that's going to be equal to 125. C, 7 to the power 5 simply means 7 times 7 times 7 times 7 times 7. Times 7 which will give us the answer 16,807. D. 2 to the power negative 2 simply means that 2 squared all to the power negative 1. At least we can factor out the power negative 1 from negative 2. And now as you see negative 1, what it simply means is that we have the reciprocal. So we take the reciprocal of 2 squared. And that's going to be 1 over 2 squared, which will give us the answer 1 over 4. A to the power negative 3. Can also be written as 1 over 8 all to the power 3. Or better still, you can also factor out the power. You can also factor out the negative 1 from the power negative 3. And that would give us the reciprocal of 8 to the power 3. Which is simply going to be the same as multiplying 1 over 8 by itself thrice. And that would give us the answer 1 over 8 times 1 over 8 times 1 over 8 and that will give us an answer 1 over 512 sorry about that f 27 to the power 1 third simply means we take the cubic root of 27 and that is simply going to give us an answer 3 instructive example 2 find the value of 25 to the power 3 over 2 
solution. 25 to the power 3 over 2 simply means we take the square root of 25 according to the denominator of the power, which is 2, which stands for square root, and then the numerator, which is what? The number 3 would mean the power. So thus, it becomes the square root of 25 all to the power 3. The square root of 25 is 5. Now, raising it to the power 3, we are going to come up with the answer 125. I hope that was quite clear. Now try the following as assignment. Make sure you complete everything and submit them in two days time. Thank you for your time.